Hello friends, I want to make a short video talking about the recent tournaments and the rewards. First of all, thanks to everyone that congratulated me for the recent wins on the tournament servers. There was a lot of hate comments as well, but luckily the positive comments of my community were dominating. Thank you so much for this guys, I really appreciate the positive feedback and love. Ok, let's talk about the final results. On the day I made the last video, the tournament was not over. This was the score on the servers. On both, I managed to score around 53,000 points. The only server that broke that score was the South American server. A knight somehow scored 56,000 points, which is totally impressive. Ok, let's speak about the rewards. A lot of my viewers wanted to see the rewards. So I guess the easiest way is to show them here in a video. One day after the tournament was over, I was able to redeem my rewards. I got two magic longswords and I redeemed them on a green battle eye world retro open pvp. So in case someone buys them, you are able to transfer them anywhere you like, besides retro hardcore. I also got one golden crown from the last tournament in April. I had two, but I gave one to my good friend Timus Douglas. He is the partner that played with me in April and now. And here are also the two magic longswords, definitely one of the best looking items in game, that's for sure. You can equip them both in the character slots. Besides that, I got two accounts which are now able to buy the Dragon Scale outfit. To buy this outfit, you need at least 5000 tournament coins and have ranked at least once at rank 1 to 3. Winning the tournament in April and the recent one on both accounts gave me enough tournament coins to get this unique and rare outfit. There is one other player in Tevia which has this outfit. He's a streamer from Brazil which also managed to win in April and recently. All in all, this outfit is the most rarest and most unique outfit in the lands of Tevia. There are over 90 golden outfits which are 1kkk each and hundreds if not thousands of Ferron brass sets. The best part is that this outfit is usable by all characters on the account at the same time. Since the recent release of the character bazaar, I could now buy a character of my choice Put it on the Dragon Scale account and wear it on the board character. By the way, the magic longsword and the golden crown is for sale. Contact me in Twitch or Discord to talk about the price, or simply check out the selling thread on Antica board. I might also put the items on a level 8 and make a character auction with them. So what is the future of the tournaments? Mirada made a post that it's against their vision to add instances into Tibia. This means that the tournaments will stay the way they are. So if you want to win them, you will need second chance or supporters again. Many players, including me, think that this is a big mistake and Sipsoft should reconsider the idea of making Tibia instance. Of course not completely, but at least some new servers and definitely the tournaments. This way, players could decide if they play the old traditional servers or go to the new instance servers. That change would definitely make me return to Tibia. Okay, that's it for today. I would love to see you in my live streams. Come by and say hi. Also leave me a comment on this video. Much love and thanks, your Lee. If you have not seen how I won the tournament, you can now click the video to the left.